Are your students actually attending your online class or are they using a bot to do it for them? Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio, and as opposed to my usual how-to, this is more of an informational video for people who did not know these programs exist. Bots that can automatically attend a Zoom meeting for you. Now, it's no secret that you can use Zoom's virtual background feature to fake your attendance in a Zoom meeting. People figured out pretty early on in the pandemic that you can simply take a video of yourself sitting at your computer, set that as your virtual background, then you can walk away, the video will keep playing, and it will look like you're still there. You can use that to do some silly things like appear in the background of your own video, or appear in multiple videos at once, and I even have a couple videos showing you how to do that. It's also no secret how there's nothing stopping someone from using a third-party screen recording app to record a Zoom meeting even if you have recording permissions disabled from within Zoom. It's similar to how somebody can always take a screenshot on their phone even if you're using a private messaging app. Again, I have a video that covers that. However, to do either of those things, you still needed to manually log into the meeting, which meant you physically needed to be at your computer at least to start. Even if you were going to walk away after everything was set up, you needed to be there to log into the meeting, set the virtual background, and start the recording. The bots will do all of that for you. You give them the Zoom login information in advance, and then they will automatically log into the meeting and start everything without your physical presence required at the computer. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there are at least two commercially available services that will do this. One is aptly named Bueller after the movie. If you scroll down to the About Us section of their page, you'll see that it was started by two college students who were not crazy about early morning classes during Zoom University. The next one is called Zoom Quarter, which I believe has launched more recently, but promises to offer much of the same functionality. Finally, you can even search on YouTube, and there are tutorials telling you how to do this yourself and write a bot using a programming language like Python that will do all of this for you. So, these bots exist. What can you do about it? I would argue that it's probably not worth getting into a technological arms race with your students to try and catch cheaters. Cheating has existed since long before the COVID-19 pandemic or even before computers were part of the classroom, and it's probably a losing battle against a student who is totally determined to cheat. The best case scenario would be that your lectures are so engaging that students simply don't want to skip them, but we all know that realistically that isn't going to be the case 100% of the time. Your next line of defense is to make sure that your lectures have some interactive component. Now, that might be easy to simply do one-on-one -on -one in small classes when you can just call on a student and expect a response, but for large university lecture classes with hundreds of students, that simply isn't feasible. Luckily, there are plenty of options you can use to have students answer questions during the lecture, and people used many of these even before the pandemic. For example, in addition to Zoom's built-in polling feature, there are polling programs like Poll Everywhere or iClicker, or you could use your school's learning management system, so something like Canvas, and have them answer questions in a Canvas quiz during the lecture. Now, no system is perfect, and any of those programs could have their own separate issues with cheating. But in theory, they should help you catch students who are using a bot to attend your Zoom class. That student might show up in the attendance list for the Zoom meeting if you download an attendee report, but they won't have answered any of the questions in your polling program. That would give you a hint that they had either used a bot to attend the meeting, or they were just simply off playing video games and not paying attention to the lecture. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there are not any bots that can answer these polling questions yet, although it certainly wouldn't surprise me if those show up eventually. If we get to that point, I guess we're in trouble, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And honestly, if you're a computer science student and you can create a bot that can attend a Zoom meeting for you and pass the Turing test, then you probably deserve to just pass the class anyway. So, as always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to learn more about Zoom, I have a playlist linked in the description with a ton of other videos about how to use the various features. If you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion for another tutorial, I have been getting most of my ideas for newer videos from comments I have gotten on my older ones. Please go ahead and leave a comment below this video. Thank you.